Hey, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this quick tips video, we're going to take a look at Switch As X, a new feature in Home Assistant 2022.4. I covered a similar topic in the past where I turned smart switches into light entities in Home Assistant so that we could then group those with other light entities and turn all lights on or off at once. But with the introduction of the April release of Home Assistant, that has now become obsolete. So we're going to look at a new way of doing that in this video. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos like this one each week. And if you check out the video description down below, you'll also see some of my affiliate links to some of the gadgets that I review on this channel. That being said, let's get started. Now in the past, I've shown you how to create these particular switches as lights. Uh, and you can see on my Home Assistant YAML screen here, an example of that. We've got this platform switch inside the light domain. Uh, so we've got platform switch, the name of the switch, and then the entity that we're using there. And uh, this kind of ties in a little bit with the groups entities here as well. We can cast all of these switches as lights and then uh, group them in with other lights. Thankfully, in the 2022.4 release of Home Assistant, we no longer need to use this method of creating these entities. So I'm going to pop over to my Home Assistant here and I'm going to click on the configuration menu here. I'm then going to click on automations and scenes and I'm going to click on helpers and I'm going to click on add helper. And what I'm going to do is choose this change device type of a switch. So if I click on that, I'm going to pick a switch that I want to show up in Home Assistant as a light cover or anything else. And then the original switch will be hidden. So if I grab this, I wanna grab hallway. And if I grab hallway one, I want this to show up as a light and I'm gonna hit submit. Uh, and we've created a configuration for hallway one and we're going to put that hallway there and we'll click finish. So I'm gonna do that for the other three hallway lights. So add helper, change device, hallway two, and we're going for a light, submit. So now that we have hallway one, two, three, and four defined as lights, if I head back over to my overview and search for hallway, which we've already got here, so here we see that we've got uh, three, four, one, and two are the switches uh, for the hallway. And then we've got one, two, three, and four are the lights. If I click on the switches, uh, we see that we've got the attributes here. So we can actually see uh, the voltage and the load power, etc. cetera there. Uh, but if I click on the light, we don't have any of that information. And if I grab number four, uh, we can switch that as a light. Now what I can also do now that we've got uh, these switches here is if I click on the gear icon and go to advanced settings, we can hide that uh, and then update. And then we can do that with, so we we'll change that to hidden. We'll do that with number four as well. So we'll hide all of the switch entities. So we're still gathering the data. We're just hiding the individual switches. So uh, we've done that and now I refresh this page and now we've only got the light entities in here. So uh, I can hit this switch and they all come on and hit that switch and they all turn off. So that's the new method of turning switch entities into light entities or other types of entities in Home Assistant 2022.4. It's certainly a lot quicker and easier than the old method of editing YAML files. And I definitely think that you should try it out now if you are doing this in YAML. That's all we have for this video. And I do hope that it's helped you in your home automation journey. 
Be sure to comment below with home automation ideas you'd like to see covered in future videos and any thoughts on casting switches as lights. Don't forget to follow HiveMind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below to give it a like. While you're there, if you're not already subscribed, please take a moment to change that now. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll also then get notified when I release new videos each week. If you'd like to help to support the channel and you're in the market for a VPN provider, I've placed an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description down below. NordVPN have great infrastructure and a strict no logs policy and apps for just about every platform, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS and Android, so that you can protect your sensitive personal information while you're browsing the web, no matter where you are. So get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. Lastly, if you want to support the channel but you're not in the market for a VPN provider, I've placed a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page in the video description down below. Contributions made through the Buy Me A Coffee page are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.